What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered is official. It is real. It's been rumored for a while and we all knew it was coming based on Naughty Dog's, you know, history and pattern of releasing things. Um, so now it has officially leaked. Uh, PlayStation and Naughty Dog haven't actually released it yet. Um, haven't actually announced it yet. Um, but the trailer is out. You can go watch it. And the and the information about the remaster, uh, which has a few interesting details, is also out now. Some people think this might get announced at the Video Game Awards, which is happening in December, I think. Because the release date for this remaster is January 19th. So it's coming out January 19th of next year. Um, now, I, think, I don't think this should be announced at the Game Awards. I think it's it's likely if it's not announced like on Monday or Tuesday of next week, then it will probably be announced at the Game Awards, uh, because even though that's a smart business decision, I guess, I think as a studio and as a company, I think you should be in kind of embarrassed to an announce this at the at the Game Awards. Naughty Dog, you know, they, they do have a history of, of you know, giving Jeff Keighley um, some announcements at summer game fest or the game awards but i think as a studio you should you should be embarrassed because bro you're you're announcing a remaster for a game at an award show where you've already won the award for it like last of us part two won game of the year in 2020 at this exact award show and that was the last that was the last game you really dropped the last new game you dropped, not counting The Last of Us Part One, um, Part One remake. So I, I personally, I, I think you should kind of be embarrassed and not want to do that, and you don't need to do that. I think like this is something that you should just release and just be quiet about, and it'll sell itself for people who want it. But your output sucks. Your out, your output stinks, and we kn we know everything that's going on behind the scenes. So. That's just how I look at it. Like this is this isn't something that you should like proudly parade in front of a bunch of people, uh, you know, at the at the game awards, knowing that you haven't actually released a new game since since, you know, since that time. And, and, and that's only been three years, which is technically OK. But all the it's just all like all the trouble and all the turmoil um, that has been going on, because the, the fact is. Even the only game, if, if things were all good at Naughty Dog, like perfect, the only game that they would have released by now is Factions. Like, it's not like another game would have been out by now anyway, since they, you know, launched uh, Last of Us Part Two in 2020. So you get what I'm saying? But still, it's, 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 a, it's not something you want to parade out there and you like you want to stand on, in my opinion. Um, but let's go. Let's get to the details of this. And of course, this game is going to come with a lot of you know, uh, people are going to be very critical of it and, you know, talk and, and you know, it's going to come with a lot of critis criticism because, yeah, like I said, Naughty Dog's output sucks. So the criticism is valid. It, it, it's very it's, it's very valid. Um, so here's 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 the details. So of the remaster native PS5 enhancements built for the PS5 console. They got to stop saying that shit. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two Remaster enhances the original uh, PS4 game in ways not possible before. Yeah, they put in sauce on it. A host of a host of graphical improvements bring the beautiful yet dangerous world to life. What's weird about some of this stuff is I didn't see any of this in in, in the trailer. Like you know, like usually in remaster trailers or remake trailers, they tell you they they like list off all all the improvements and all the enhancements. I unless I missed it, and I did skim through it. I did skim through the trailer because I'm like, you know, what am I really sitting through a whole trailer for? Uh, but I didn't I didn't see any of this in in the uh, in the trailer. Maybe I'll go back to go back to the trailer and um, just rewatch it real quick in a, in, in a minute. But I'm pretty sure it was not there. Hold on. Let me let me I'm, I'm skim it through. Her. And it's a freaking short. Is this even a minute long? Bro, I don't I think this shit is like 30 seconds long. Yeah, so they don't even they don't even talk about the unless there's a, like another longer cut version. Anyway, back to the details about it. Um, host 
A host of graphical improvements bring the beautiful yet dangerous world to life. They don't really specify. Uh, visual performance now outputs uh, at 4K in fidelity mode. Um, improved loading times, uh, you know, lets you jump quicker back into the action. Full du dual sense wireless controller integration. Here's what's interesting to me. Let's get to the let's get to the main course of what's interesting about this. A no return mode, which is pretty much a horde roguelike survival mode. See, now you talking my language. See, now this could this absolutely could come from my absolute desperation and thirst and hunger for anything that's like even relatively that has a rev, relative semblance to what could could be or could have been factions depending if it comes out or not and i listen i really believe like last the last of us multiplayer in 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 the in the, in the most ideal conditions is rife with like opportunity and potential like when like I always bring up last of the, the factions, the game that shall not be named in a way like imagine a PVP PVE game where you just, you know, you have the infected moving around like they do in the single player, but you're also taking on other players like essentially factions like imagine factions like, you know, how, how it is in the original game, but there's actual infected around that. Man, that just blows shit up. That just makes shit get crazy. And there's there's so many ideas. Like I said, I, I think that's why like I, I really want factions to come out because I really don't think a lot of people understand the potential that that multiplayer has and the ideas. And there's so much shit they can do. So many different modes. So many different ways to play, but we're not here for that. I'm just saying that's what this roguelike survival mode makes me think about is that untapped potential that could be if that game comes out. Um, so it says a rogue, a roguelike survival mode. Experience The Last of Us Part Two's deep combat via an entirely new mode. Survive as long as you can in each run. As you choose your path through a series of randomized encounters, play as a host of different unlockable characters, some never before playable in the Last of Us franchise, each with unique gameplay traits. This shit sounds like something that, this sounds like a prerequisite, like, like, like the, the preliminary to what just just scratching the surface of what factions could be, except it's just a survival mode. You get what I'm saying? But if you take ideas like this and you make and you put it in multiplayer and you make it just imagine, just let your imagination fucking wonder. That's why, like, factions being canceled would be probably the most disappointing thing. I don't think people really understand what that multiplayer could be. People really don't get it. I don't, because people think that like, oh, BG, you're just like, you know, this thirsty, diehard multiplayer person. No, I, I see the vision, dog. I see the vision of the, the untapped possibilities. The, the chances, the, I, I can literally see the, like, I'm, I'm, you could see it in the alternate universe, bro. What things are in the perfect world where factions has come out already and it's like, and there were, there were no stumbles or no hiccups or no development hell. Like this is speaking to that. And best believe if this mode comes, like when we play this in January, and bro, it's two months away, if this shit is fire, if, this survival mode is fire. There's, if y'all thought I was insufferable before, there is nothing you can fucking tell me that the multiplayer would not be great as well. There's nothing you're going to be able to fucking tell me. 
because I seen it with my third eye, bro. I seen it. And if this survival mode is, is really fucking good, then I'm definitely going to be like, fuck Bungie. Fuck everything Bungie said. I appreciate their expertise and, you know, the, the economy of live service and making it a game that lasts long. Oh, I'm going to be like, oh, it's, it's going to be big fuck yous. It's going to be big fuck yous, bro. I'm telling man, don't, don't let this, sur and I know it's, it's just a mode. It's just, it's just a mode, but it, but it's just, like I said, it's just, it's telling you what could be. Play is a host of different unlockable characters that each that they all of them have their own sounds like abilities, traits. They, so they don't play the same. When I first read this, I'm like, oh, it's just going to be different skins. Apparently, it's not even just different skins. They have, I don't know, maybe different different weapons, different abilities. Different, that's, that sounds like some fucking multiplayer shit, except it's just the horde mode. The variety of challenges feature different foes and memorable locations throughout The Last of Us Part 2, all culminating in a intense boss battles. So, like I said, sounds like horde mode, maybe at the end of each round, and it's, it's not, and it's like you have to actually go through the levels and shit like that. And if it's a roguelike, I imagine that roguelikes usually have some type of, like, uh, you know, upgrades or abilities that you can, you know, abilities that you can upgrade or um, some type of perks at, at the, um, that you get at, at each round or each level or something like that. So I don't know if it's, if, if it's exactly going to be like that. Um, but I also like that it's, uh, as they said, uh, blah, blah, blah. it's randomized encounters. So it's not like everybody's going to have, you know, the same, same experience um it's completely random just you know not procedurally generated i don't think that's uh i don't think that's going to be the case but it, yeah it's going to be random um roll a dice as to what which level or some shit some shit you run into um it also says new ways to play delve deeper into this beloved adventure and and learn how the original game was created. This has this has this is separate from the no return mode. Lost levels lets you explore early development uh, development versions of three new levels not seen in the original. So this is interesting. So it says lost levels lets you explore early development versions of three new levels not in the original. So are we going to get to actually play these levels, or it's just like, oh, play some. Or explore some unfinished, you know, levels that didn't make it into the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, enjoy hours of new uh, developer commentary to hear insights into part two's development. Uh, uh, live up to your musical potential with, the, with guitar free play, uh, unlockable instruments, new speed run mode, and uh, post your best times, descriptive audio, speech vibrations um, as an accessibility feature. Last of Us Part 2 Remaster also features brand new unlockable character and weapon skins for players to use uh, for both Ellie and Abby. Um, great game progression required to unlock for those things. Um, so there's no mention of a PC version, which to me is like, when's that PC version coming out? Because I don't really want to buy uh, the remaster version on, on, on console again. I want to play it on PC. So what's up? I imagine it is going to come out next year, but probably months after this console version. But uh, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I need to see gameplay of this of this roguelike survival mode, because maybe they're putting a little bit sauce on it. They make it sound really good. They dress it up real nice. And, you know, maybe my hype is making it sound way better than it actually is. Or maybe it's just going to be that fucking fire. I don't know. It's just a mode. We got to see. I, I want to see gameplay. Um, but I would really like, I would prefer to play this once again, this, this mode on PC, because I have no desire to beat the game again. You know, I love the last of us part two, but I have no desire to beat the game again on console. Maybe I might want to beat it again on PC, but not on console. You know, I've done beat this game, know this game front, front and backwards, every inch of it. So yeah. Um, 
Hey, man, let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all think about this no return mode. I want to know y'all thoughts on this. And, and do y'all get what I'm talking about with this untapped potential and possibility that I'm talking about? Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit the like button. Um, we can only hope that Naughty Dog gets, you know, is getting itself back on track. And I, I think... I think it's like wishful thinking and very being very hopeful that they even release three games this generation. I think it's, it's if factions, I mean, it, according to them, it's not canceled. So I think the best we can hope for this generation is factions and Last of Us Part 3 because they're clearly working on the Last, Last of Us Part 3. We all know that. So I think that's what we can look forward to them this whole generation is really honestly two games. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.